So today we are going to be working on a new floral arrangement for the fall. This is definitely a statement floral piece. It's very large and bold. So here, really quick, is an overview of what I am anticipating to use. I may not need all of this, but I did grab quite a few stems this year just because, like I said, I really want to achieve a very lush and filled out look. So of course whatever does not get used I will try and maybe use in a smaller arrangement but if not I should have no problem in returning. So I want to kind of run through each of these stems and give a little bit more detail than what you're able to see right now. Most of this stuff like I said I just purchased this year and then I have a few stems that I am going to be reusing from last autumn. All right, first up, here are three stems that I have used. I'm not positive if I will end up using these ones. I would love to just to get additional use out of them. So these will be stuck into the arrangement at the end. Once I see if there are any gaps that need to be filled, I have these faux sunflowers. These have been used for many years now. I want to say like five years. And I really like these ones. I'm definitely steering more away from faux flowers, but these ones I still do enjoy. Next up, I have some dried up eucalyptus. And I did mention both of these bundles in a recent home decor haul, but I picked up two really beautiful sets of colors that I think go together really nicely. So in the back there, I have a really beautiful deep red, and then in the front is more of like a burnt orange. So these are real eucalyptus stems that have just been dried up. I have worked with dried up eucalyptus stems in the past, and I really, really love them. They are definitely my go-to now, just because they are so much less expensive, you get so much more for what you pay, and I think that they just look better. Uh, because they are real. And both of these I picked up from Joann Fabrics. Next up, these two were included in my recent fall home decor haul. These are all stems that I also picked up from Joann Fabrics. These are a lot like shorter in size, but once they're standing, they are nice and full. They kind of spread out uh, naturally, which is a feature that I really liked. So again, these will be used to just fill in any gaps that I see. Next up, I picked up five of these stems. These came from Hobby Lobby, and I do need to like kind of fluff these out a little bit, but I thought that these were so beautiful. They have like a really nice neutral yet golden tone to them. Plus, I love the colors of the stems. They're a very beautiful like olive army green color. They are a little bit longer in height. I love having a variety of height when creating a big arrangement like this. Next up, probably the two stems that I am most excited to use. They are like the perfect mustard yellow color and I think that these will be such a fun pop of color, plus they will fill out the arrangement so nicely. These I picked up from Hobby Lobby as well. Next up, the tallest <laughs> um, type of floral are these dried up matin grass, matin grass. Uh, so again, these are real florals that have just been preserved. These came from Hobby Lobby and I am definitely going to have to trim these quite a bit. But my plan for this one was to kind of spread this out in the back again, just to allow for some height variation. And then similar to some of the other stems I just showed, these little mini uh, pumpkins that are on these wooden sticks will be added in towards the end. I think all of the colors that I chose in the florals will, will very easily read fall and autumn vibes but including these little pumpkin stems will just give it more of a like kid-friendly Halloween vibe so this little bouquet of tiny pumpkins I found at home goods here is another view of them I really love the orange tones that they will bring to the arrangement and then these two stems I also found at Joan fabrics these were the last two stems that I could find like this I probably would have picked up at least a few more uh, because they are rather thin. They will add height to the arrangement, but I don't think that they will add much width to it. I like that the leaves have like an ombre effect to them. It looks like they're kind of naturally turning. And then they also have some really nice neutral tones in there as well. So again, here's everything bundled up. I have lots of neutrals, lots of really beautiful bold colors, and a ton of texture. So I'm really excited to see how this is going to 
all come together. We'll see if I end up using it all because it is quite a lot and I am still going to be reusing a lot of the eucalyptus and the lamb's ear that I used in the original arrangement for spring. Okay, so really quick, here is what I created for the springtime. I loved how this turned out. The movement that this arrangement has is definitely what I am going after for the fall version. I want it to kind of be flowing out on both sides, have a lot of movement on the top and within there. And as I stated when I was putting together this arrangement back in spring, um, I really did invest in quite a few eucalyptus and lamb's ear stems. And the reason I did that is because I am planning on these being the base of any arrangement that I make, especially inside of this three gallon crock that I have. It is rather large for a floral arrangement, so I really need lots of stems to fill up the space inside of there. I wanted to purchase a lot of the neutral stems that can be used for different seasons, such as eucalyptus and lamb's ear. Even olive branches are really nice and neutral and easy to work with. So I made my investment with these stems back in spring and now I am going to just be able to add in the pops of seasonal color. I'm going to remove all of these beautiful peonies and then get started on the autumn arrangement. completed arrangement. For the most part, I am really happy with how it turned out. I am hoping that it won't be too tall for my space. I'm going to have to bring it over there and see how it looks. If it is a little bit too tall, I'm just going to have to shorten up the colored eucalyptus. And here you can see I didn't end up using a lot of the stems that I got. Uh, I still have two very big bundles of the colored dried up eucalyptus. I didn't end up using any of this dried up grass. Uh, I still have five pumpkins to use. I never used the faux berries from previous years. I have two more of these stems, two more of these, and then I didn't use the sunflowers as well. I still have three medium sized uh, arrangements that I am planning on keeping out for fall. So most likely these will just find their way to those other arrangements. I will have a decorate with me slash fall home tour. I'm kind of doing things a little bit differently and kind of combining those two different types of videos into one this year. So I did end up having to scale the height back just a bit, um, nothing too major, but, but I actually like it a lot better now that I removed some of the height. I think it just looks a little bit more contained and not so like wild and crazy. I do really, really, really love this. I think it just adds such a fun, traditional, colorful pop of decor. I may go ahead and add two more pumpkins over on this side to kind of just even out the whole pumpkin look. I love that even though I did take away from some of the height, it still has a lot of really good and natural looking movement uh, coming from both sides here and then even going outwards towards the back. I think that when working with like faux floral or even dried up floral, it's really important to just create a natural flow of movement. I think the colors just flow together really nicely. I was still able to use all of the original eucalyptus and lamb's ear that was in here for spring. You are still able to see pops of that greenery, but for the most part, this is just flooded with seasonal goodness. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. I hope that it has inspired you to create your own fall or autumn floral arrangement. I would love to see your take on something like this. So if you do put together a fall arrangement, whether it is similar to mine or not, I would love for you guys to tag me on Instagram so I can see what you guys do. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know your comments in the comment section below. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe and join my YouTube family. I would love to have you guys part of my YouTube journey. And if you could please give this video a big thumbs up, I would really, really appreciate that as well.
and I hope to see you all in my next video which should be my fall decorate with me slash fall home tour until then take care bye